an amazing outpouring of grief over the drowning death of a 15-year-old boy at South Melbourne Beach. Hundreds gathered at the beach today to pay tribute to the teenager as authorities issued a summer warning. There's no doubt Jimmy Newen was loved by all. Hundreds of his mates turned out to honour the 15-year-old who died too young. Well, Jimmy is the type of person to make you smile any day. We call him day and night, he'll come. We will smack you. And he did his best in everything, especially in sport. Jimmy was at South Melbourne Beach last night with his mates, but when he didn't get out of the water when they did, they knew something was wrong. Intensive care paramedics uh, turned up on scene and he was aggressively treated, you know, for the next hour and desperately trying to save his life. Uh, but unfortunately he passed away at the Royal Children's Hospital sometime later. More than 1,000 of his friends had set up a Facebook page just hours after he died. Surf Life Saving Victoria says there are no full-time lifeguards and no flags to swim between its city beaches because state government funding doesn't go that far. City beaches are patrolled by volunteers on weekends and public holidays, but obviously they are volunteers, so they have full-time jobs as well. The government says it's already given Life Saving Victoria enough money and swimmers should check the weather conditions before they hit the beach. Any drowning is, is a tragedy um, and people have to take care. Even a bay can be dangerous if uh, you get caught out by a cool change or something like that or if you just don't have a strong swimming skills. And with more warm weather on the way, authorities are also warning swimmers to beware of jellyfish. This 16-year-old girl was stung on the leg this afternoon. Alicia Grabowski, 7 News.